And we are doing uh, chapter one, lesson five. That's a lesson one dash five. This is the workbook practice B, and um, it's evaluating algebraic expressions. And algebraic expressions have variables in them. So in this case, an n divided by two times five. An n here is a variable because it can change. We can put plug in different values for n, the variable, and they could have picked any number, any letter, I mean to represent that variable. Oftentimes you see x. Um, and the other numbers are constants. So 2 and 5 are constants. They don't change, but we'll be plugging in, you could be plugging in different numbers for the variable n. And in this case, we're going to plug in the number 14 for n. So we're going to rewrite the equation with 14 divided by 2 times 5. And in a lot of these, we just need to mind our order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally or Pima. Um, and so the first thing we do is the parentheses, the please. 14 divided by 2 is 7. And a parentheses with a number right by it means multiply. And I'm going to put the dot for multiplying. So now we go 7 times 5 is 35. So we should have got 35 for 9. If you didn't, you might want to check that. Make sure you followed your correct order of operations. So number 15 gets a little more complicated because we have two variables, h and m. So we just got to plug them in. We have 3 times h squared, or to the second power. In this case, h is 3. So I'm going to put a little dot here, 3 times 3 to the second power plus 8 times m. And the variable m is the value 2. So 8 times 2. Follow this order of operations, please. There's no parentheses. Excuse exponents. There is one exponent. So 3 times 3 is 9. Times 3 is 27. So 9 times 27. I did the 3 times 3 is 9. So I took care of this. And I got 9. And then 3 times 9 is 27. Plus 8 times 2. Got to be careful. It's not 27 plus 8 times 2. It's 8 times 2 plus 27. So 27 plus 8 times 2 is 16. And 27 plus 16, I should get 43. So I get 13 here. 7 plus 6 is 13. 3, 43 is correct. So that's the answer you should have gotten for number 15, 43. I think that was off the screen a little bit, 43. I just added 27 and 16, got 43. Okay, let's move on. Ooh, they're getting more complicated here. We have three variables. Number 17, we have three variables. We have an x, a y, and a z. For the value x, they want 14. So 10 times 14 divided by 4 times y. y is 5. 4 times 5 times 8 times z, and the z is 2, times 8 times 2. So just got to correctly plug them in. And now this is all multiplication and division, so I just move left to right. So 10 times 14 is 140. Divided by 4 times 5 times 8 times 2. Now I'm just moving on left to right. 140 divided by 4 is 35. So I know 140, I'd memorize 140 divided by 2 is 70. So it's going to be half of 70, 35. 35 divided by 4 is 140. So it's 35. You can work it out if you need to. 35 times 5 times 8 times 2. So let's go ahead here. 35 times 5 is 175 times 8 times 2. And then, uh, let's see here. Um, in this case, you can, you know, pop in a calculator. Oh, I wanted you to actually work them out. So 175 times 8, that's giving me uh, 1,400. 1,400 times 2. And that's pretty easy. I just, just twice that. So it's 2,800. Yeah, there's my answer, 2,800. So 
it looked pretty daunting here. This looks like a pretty tough algebraic problem. Just plug in the, correctly plug in the variables, mine those order of operations, you'll be just fine. Okay, so now we got this word problem here. This is number 19. Rita drove 55 miles per hour on her trip to the mountains. So she drove the speed limit the whole way. Use the expression 58, 55 times the hours to find out how many miles she drove in each hour. So 55, every hour she drove 55 miles. So she drove five hours. So for every one hour, it's 55. So it's 55 times five or 55 H. 55 miles an hour, 55. She went 55 miles every hour per hour times hour. So it's 55 times five. Pretty lucky with this word problem that gave you the equation. 55 H means 55 times H. H is five, okay? And you multiply this out and you should get 275. I did this one up beforehand. I'll let you guys multiply that out, but just make sure you get 275. Check your math if you didn't. And the secret word is cozy.